Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can install Kali Linux on your Oracle VirtualBox virtual machine. So let's get started. First of all, uh, you need to have Kali Linux ISO file in order to install it on your VirtualBox. So hopefully you all have VirtualBox and to get the ISO file for Kali Linux, you just need to open your favorite browser and search for Kali Linux here and in here the first link which will appear here will be from kali.org and uh, you can see the download uh, link from here but we are going to open the kali.org first and then we will uh, just click the download uh, link from here so you just need to click this download uh, link from here and then in here you will be able to find different uh, versions of Kali Linux right the one I have downloaded is this one which is ISO file for 64 bit okay so it's 2.6 GB file so it will uh, take some time to download so just download this ISO file which is the first option here so after downloading this file it's going to look like this it's uh, a Kali hyphen Linux hyphen 2016.1 hyphen amd 64.iso file okay so once this file is downloaded we are ready to uh, you know install it on our virtual box so just open your virtual box uh, virtual machine and in here we are going to create a new virtual machine so just click this button which says new and in here we will uh, first of all provide the name of our uh, virtual machine for example Kali and then it's uh, Linux operating system so we need to choose the type Linux and in here you will not be able to find the Kali option Kali Linux option here right so the one we are going to choose here is Debian 64 which is this option okay so just choose this option which says Debian 64 bit and then click next and in here you can choose the memory size so I'm going to give the memory to my virtual machine up to for example 4 GB okay and then I'm going to click next and in here it says uh, hard drive so we are going to create a virtual hard drive for uh, now so just choose this uh, second option which says create a virtual hard drive now and then just click create okay and in here you will be asked hard drive file type so we want to make a VDI file so just leave it as default which is the first option uh, checked and then click next and in here it will ask you for the storage on the physical hard drive we want to have the dynamically uh, allocated storage okay so it's not fixed size but it will uh, be grown dynamically so just choose the first option here which is dynamically allocated and then click next and uh, then here you can uh, allocate the you know memory to your uh, you know device so for example I want to give around 20 GB to my virtual machine so I'm going to just uh, move it to 20 GB and then I will just click create and it's going to create this Kali uh, virtual machine here okay now once you created your uh, virtual machine you can choose uh, this uh, virtual machine which is Kali and we are going to do some settings from here because we haven't given the path of uh, the ISO file yet right so just choose uh, this option Kali and then click this button which says settings and in here first of all we are going to go to uh, system here and uh, you can see we have given 4 GB memory to our uh, virtual machine and just choose this option which says processor and by default it's uh, given one processor for this virtual machine right so we can increase it to 4 so this depends upon you how many numbers of processors you want to give to your virtual machine I want to give four processors right now 
uh, we are going to choose this option which says storage and in the storage we are going to go to controller IDE and then choose host drive D okay so just choose this option and this uh, will uh, give you this kind of interface here you just need to click this uh, CD icon here to provide the path to your ISO file so just uh, click the CD icon and then click the first option which says choose a virtual CD DVD disk file okay and from here you can just provide the path to your ISO file which you have downloaded okay so just choose the ISO file which you have downloaded and then click open and I'm going to minimize this first of all so now you have given the path for your ISO file for Kali Linux right so we are going to just click OK and then we are ready to start our virtual machine so just choose the option Kali and then just click this button which says start and then it's going to start the installation for your operating system now in here it's going to give uh, this kind of uh, installation interface what we want to do is we want to do the graphical install so we will uh, just choose the graphical install option here so just uh, press the down button and choose this option which says uh, graphical install and then press enter okay and now the installation will start now in here you will be asked to choose your language so select a language uh, what we want is uh, English here so I'm going to leave it as default but if you want to choose some other language you can choose it from here okay and then click continue and then it's going to ask for uh, the location you are in and for example I want to choose uh, UK from here so I can choose uh, UK and then I can uh, click continue and then it's going to ask for the keyboard layout so the keyboard layout for example I have a German keyboard layout so I can choose German from here otherwise whatever keyboard layout you have you can choose uh, from here okay and then click continue and now it's going to uh, load the installer component from CD and it's going to start the installation so just uh, uh, you know wait for this uh, progress bar to reach 100% and then it's going to ask for some more options which we can provide from here okay so just wait for it and now uh, it's asking configure the network and the default host name it has given uh, is Kali itself so you can change the default host name from here it should be one word name I will leave it as default which is Kali and uh, click continue and in here it's going to ask you the domain name I'm going to leave it as blank and uh, click continue and now you just need to give the password to your uh, operating system so the, choose the password which you can remember for example I'm going to give some password here and once again I'm going to repeat the password and then I'm going to just click continue okay and then it's going to just detect the disks and it's going to once again do some configurations so we need to wait for it and now it's going to ask for the partition disks we want to do uh, the first type which is guided use entire disk so choose the first option here and then click continue and in here just choose the default option which is this option and click continue and once again choose the default option and click continue okay and in here also choose the last option and click continue and now you are asked that uh, you just need to provide a partition disk so write the changes to the disk yes we want to write the changes to the disk so we will choose the yes option here and then click continue now in the next step uh, you are asked to choose or use a network mirror and you just need to choose the default option which is yes here and then click continue and in here just leave it as blank and click continue 
and just wait for this progress bar to reach 100 once again okay so we will wait once again now in the next step it says install the grub bootloader to the master boot record so we want to leave it as default which is yes and then click continue and in here we need to choose the second option so when it's asked that install the grub bootloader on hard disk you need to choose the second option which is dev slash sda and then click continue and just wait for the installation to complete okay so now our installation is complete and you can see this message installation complete right so we just need to click uh, continue so that it's going to restart this Kali Linux operating system and then we are going to see the login window so just click continue which is going to finish the installation and then it's going to restart uh, this uh, virtual machine so just wait for that and now it says finishing the installation so we are going to wait for the installation to finish and now we can see uh, the operating system is restarting so don't do anything until you see uh, the login window okay so just wait for the restart to happen and we will be able to see a login window so just wait for uh, that login window okay and now we can see this login in window and first of all it's going to ask for the username the default username is uh, root here so just give root username and then click next and the password will be the password which you have set so uh, I uh, told you to remember the password you just need to fill the password which you have given here right so I will give the password and then I will click sign in and once I click sign in hopefully we will be able to see the Kali Linux desktop environment right so just wait for this and now I can see this desktop for Kali Linux okay so in this way you can download and install Kali Linux on your virtual box I hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment subscribe and